Telangana has made its most ambitious announcement yet. 1 lakh crore rupees targeted in life sciences investment by 2030. 5 lakh new jobs to be created. Life sciences economy to triple from $80 billion to $250 billion. This was announced by Duddila Sridhar Babu, Minister for IT and Industries at the OS Biotech International Conference 2025 in Melbourne. Telangana is preparing a comprehensive life sciences policy to accelerate innovation, infrastructure and global partnerships. End quote. This is what Babu said. Well, over just 20 months, Telangana has already attracted 3.2 lakh crore rupees in new investments. 63,000 crore rupees of which came from life sciences between April and December 2024 alone. The sector generated 26,000 crores in exports. And now the state is gunning to transform itself from a national player to a global biotech super hub by the end of the decade. Telangana is actually backing its ambition with very hard infrastructure and skilled human capital. The infrastructure highlights, here they are. Genome Valley, Medical Devices Park, B-Hub for Well, Biotech Startups, Bharat Future City, Plug and Play, Industrial Parks for Well, Rapid Scaling. As far as the talent and skilling is concerned, Life Sciences University plus Young India Skills University partnership with WEF's Center for the Fourth Industrial Revolution Workforce trained at the intersection of biotech, AI and health tech. Hyderabad's life sciences office space has actually already grown from, well, this is very nice, 0.6 million square feet in 2022 to, well, very encouraging figure of 2.4 million square feet in 2024, signaling explosive momentum. Here is what was said. Our slogan is not just make in India, but invent in Telangana, end quote. This was again said by Mr. Babu. He also actually extended a direct invitation to Australian investors, urging them to explore opportunities in cell and gene therapy, biologics and mRNA vaccines, medtech and diagnostics, AI-driven drug discovery, green biomanufacturing and genomics. The pitch was pretty clear. Telangana wants to be where the next generation of health innovation happens. Telangana's biotech ambition is unfolding in parallel with Hyderabad's surge in the GCC landscape. According to Zifeno's workforce report, Hyderabad has captured 40% of all new greenfield GCCs set up in India over the past three years. 64 of 164 new GCCs were established here. Global players like Eli Lilly, Johnson & Johnson, Vanguard, T-Mobile, Marriott, American Airlines and more have actually already set up capability centers. The city now hosts 360 plus GCCs, employing over 3.1 lakh professionals. Why does this matter? It's because many of these GCCs are in life sciences, BFSI, health tech and research and development, setting up for high IP work rather than just IT sourcing. Well, with a 15 to 20 percent cost advantage, ready policy and frameworks and lower friction compared to Bengaluru, Hyderabad is increasingly becoming the preferred greenfield destination for global enterprises. This is creating official convergence of biotech, AI and enterprise technology, an ecosystem capable of powering next generation healthcare innovation at scale. And the momentum actually just got a lot bigger. Southwest Airlines, one of America's largest carriers, has actually officially chosen Hyderabad as the home for its global innovation and technology center, a major win for the state's innovation ecosystem. At a meeting, Held at the Telangana Secretariat, Honorable CM Revanth Reddy and Minister Komati Reddy Venkat Reddy welcomed 
the Southwest leadership team, led by CIO Lauren Woods, CTO Tom Merritt, Jason Shung, Head Legal Counsel, and Sarthak Brahma, Hex Advisory Group. The CM shared the state's, well, Telangana Rising 2047 vision, aiming to make Telangana, well, a $1 trillion economy by 2034 and a $3 trillion economy by 2047, built on strategic global partnerships and innovation-led growth. Southwest's entry joins a growing list of global majors betting on Hyderabad further cementing its position as India's fastest growing GCC hub. This is actually creating a critical convergence of biotech, AI and enterprise technology, an ecosystem capable of powering next generation healthcare innovation at scale. Meanwhile, just a few hours away in Melbourne, Andhra Pradesh, IT and HRD Minister Nara Lokesh is on his own strategic investment mission. His focus is this, digital health, higher education, renewable energy, tourism and sustainable development. Lokesh held meetings with Bupa Asia Pacific COO Bijal Sejpal to pitch Vishakapatnam as a GCC destination for Bupa's global operations. He also actually engaged with the University of Tasmania and the University of Melbourne, exploring joint research and AI integration in healthcare, telemedicine and renewable energy. Andhra Pradesh, as the ecosystem to become a green innovation hub, we want to bring global partners to co-create the future of healthcare and sustainability, end quote. This is what was said by Lokesh. He also pitched Victoria's tourism minister, Steve Dimopoulos, an ecotourism eco collaboration, green jobs and coastal resilience projects. This, well, is not just a parallel story. It's, a, it's like a strategic alignment. Telangana is doubling down on life sciences, research and development and infrastructure. Andhra Pradesh, on the other hand, is pitching digital health and sustainability corridors to global investors. Together, the two states are quietly building the Southern Innovation Corridor, a biodigital belt that could actually rival global hubs like Boston or Singapore. This is genuinely bigger than a single investment announcement, if you really think about it. It's a geo-economic geo signal. Telangana is positioning Hyderabad as the global capital of biotech innovation. Andhra Pradesh is laying the foundation for digital health and green economy corridors. Both are actually doing it from Australia, a deliberate geopolitical choice to align with a nation that's rapidly well emerging as a strategic Indo-Pacific innovation partner. This isn't just about jobs or exports, it's actually way bigger than that. It's about like shaping India's leadership in the next frontier of health, biotech and artificial intelligence. Telangana bets on innovation. Andhra builds the corridors. Australia becomes the bridge. Did you just see that it is so wonderfully orchestrated? What is the result? Well, a southern powerhouse that could redefine how the world looks at India, not just as a talent hub, but actually as a biotech and digital health supercluster. Stick around because what's unfolding isn't actually just a regional growth story. It's actually a new center of gravity in global innovation. And please do let us know what you think in the comments below.